Hey everybody, I'm Grady, that's G-R-A-D-Y, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For Christmas a while ago, I got a Raspberry Pi. It's like a mini little PC. Just get a mouse and keyboard, make sure they're USB, they cannot be Bluetooth. And just a screen. Dang. Anyways, back to the point of the video. If you have a computer or an iPad, just search up on the web browser scratch.mit.edu. You'll be en you'll end up with this. So if you're looking for something to code and looking for some games to play, this is actually a really good website. It's on computer, but it's kind of on mobile. I'll explain later why. But there's a bunch of games that people make. You can learn to make games from the videos and look at featured product. Let's see what it is. Okay, let's see. A little game. I'm gonna need, I don't know who made this. Moomy777 made it. Okay. Oh, it's just a little house making game. Wow. Okay, on to my games. <laughs> I've probably built like 200 games, but I'm only going to show you five because I got to keep this video short. And so I'm going to show you Metroid Core, Scratching for Freedom, Wingtail, Boss Fight, Two Player Sand Singing, The Moment of Truth. Five games. Some of them cringy, some of them not. Some of them good, some of them will rot. Okay, so let's start with Wingtail Boss Two Player. Now, if you don't know by now, which you probably don't, but I like Undertale, and I like Legend of Zelda, and I like Metroid, and those are the main three games mostly. And I combined Link from Legend of Zelda, Undertale, Boss Fight, two player, all together, in one game. Okay, so I can press X and Z, so if I press X, it just shoots that. And the blasters go to the position of the mouse pointer, as well as the, uh, the little swords. Oh gosh. Just be careful though, if, uh, if you're not pressing the arrow keys while you're shooting these swords, um... Yeah, I don't know why you have that much health, but... Let's check out the other attack, C! Oh, stand, stand still, it's a, uh, it's a blue attack. If you don't know what Undertale is... And you probably don't know what a blue attack is. If you see a blue attack in Undertale, don't move, and it can't hurt you. Anyways, and V should be... A blue Gaster Blaster. Gaster Blaster! S Sword Gaster Blaster. Let me try this. Ooh, there's a slice. That does a massive amount of damage. What does space do? Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. I just got destroyed. It's t in this game, if you play as uh, I, I, I don't know, but I think you're Frisk, I just coded a, uh, a, a soul, and then I just coded Link in there to do an animation. Anyways, enough of that. Uh, welcome to the show of an idiot trying to figure out how to do his own game. If you don't know what Undertale is, the soul is just a little heart. And if you press the arrow keys, that's the only controls for the soul. So I guess that's just this game so far. Um, I kind of like this one because it has Link, and it also has Undertale mixed into it. Next game! And so this is the next fan game that I've made. It's still Undertale. It's called Scratching for Freedom. Um, the, the boss fight, I guess, is Scratch Cat, and... Uh, I'm an idiot, so I don't know how to make good animations and stuff, so don't judge if the animation is bad. Okay, so, monster so monsters inside Undertale have souls too, so just- this is the cutscene. It took a little while to do this. If you know what Undertale is, you uh, should probably search it up. Okay, I should probably be ready to dodge the first attack. Okay. Yeah, so I'm still coding this one. 
So basically, once you press the heal or the attack, if you press the attack, his energy goes down, and if you press the heal, you heal 25 HP. But let's get to the point that this is a randomizer, I still need to fix up two attacks. But let's just show you attack two. This is my least favorite. Little balls bounce around and they make little bouncy noises, and then you have to tr try to dodge them. I keep on dying on this part. It's, it's my own game. Okay, let's see if attack 3 will happen. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you attack 3. Just gotta dodge the spears. I'm throwing it out. Um, that's what happened if he dies. Uh, I kinda like this game because it has a lot of effort put into it. And I'm still working on it, and on to the next game. Hello darkness, my old friend. And so now we're gonna go on to boss fight. So if you know Scratch, you know that a while ago one of the feature projects were boss fight based on Hollow Knight. Um, this game is based on that. <laughs> so you use WASD to move, except you don't use S. I think I just forgot to use S, but Okay, click in any direction to attack. Hello? That's kind of cringy. That's very cringy. It's very cringy. <laughs> I'm probably gonna fix the cringe. Oh, jeez. So it looks like a... Don't touch any of the attacks. So I'm playing as this little guy who's slashing him. So there's the laser attack where the blue things appear from the sky and then come down in three different directions. There's the bomb attack where those little faces appear and come down and explode. I'm pretty sure like there's three of them or somewhere around that number. Um, it's very hard. I, I haven't named the boss yet. I don't even know what to call him. I know there is another attack, I think. Oh. And that- wait, is that FNAF audio? Is that cringiest, weird model ever? Um, next- next game! I don't even want to talk about this game anymore. Mm. Okay, next game, Metroid Core Demo. Um, I don't think I even have enough space on Scratch to, like, make it a full game. But let's just go ahead and do it, Metroid Core. I like to call it Metroid Core because I didn't know a name to name it, so I just put Core. Okay. So you play as Samus and you have to shoot these little purple guys. <laughs> and if you're very fast at clicking like me. For the music that's happening, stop interrupting me little guy, um, the music that's playing. I didn't get it from like a website or anything. Well, I kind of did. It's just I searched up on Scratch. I searched up on Scratch Metroid music, and then it, I found this in a lot of other boss themes. So that's how this game got music. That's the very boring story of how this game got music. So if you if you're thinking that it's kind of lame because you can only shoot this. Um, there's more attacks. You just have to- every time you defeat a boss, you just level up. Anyways, I'm just gonna, like, get to the- wait. How many enemies? Okay, 20 enemies. We're about to see the first boss, guys. Wow, uh... It's lame thumbs up. And you can also do a glitch dance. I don't really think it's a glitch. It's just if you spin around fast enough. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it! Oh no! I can't move! Help me! Help me! Help me! I'm stuck! <laughs> oh no! No! Stop! Okay! <gasps> is that Ice Beam? Did I just shoot it? <gasps> I- I can barely call that blue, to be honest. It is a cool color, I'm gonna be honest. It's just that's not really blue. It's cyan! It's actually a greenish, um, blue, I think. So this game, I like it because 
it's kind of fun. You can just do this, and it actually has an ending. <laughs> wow! The last one I want to show you is another Undertale, <laughs> another Undertale game. It's a two-player. It's named Two Player Sands thingy. And this one, I'm actually pretty sure I only I only stole some of the sprites. <laughs> Just, just, I just, I just borrowed them. Don't worry. I definitely gave them credit. So the player... So basically, there's two players. First player... Is Sans. And if you're Sans, you can, you can click all these. Oh, oh no, stop. And then if you press 1, it releases... It releases them. So the, the the one you can place a bunch of bones, and then if you press one, it shoots them. As well as these, press one, they get shot. And the heart, you just press W O S D and it gets moved. And so we also have you press if the, I don't I don't really know, so I just press so I just typed in repel. So basically, you you tap a bone, you click, and then it will bounce back at the player. So. And the player that's a heart, um, the heart, the soul, they don't have any attack. They, they just stand there and they just try to dodge the attacks. They just try not to die. And basically, I should have just tiled this game Torture the Soul because you can't fight back. And also, you take damage when you use the eye, the sand's eye attack where you just get yeeted. Yeet. Yeet. And over time, you do gain the HP, though. So I guess that's kind of good. But my favorite thing to do is just... Death. Death, 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 death. And if you hold down one and the click at the same time, it just does that. Let's do the death. Uh, that's actually pretty good. Not. Ne what? There is no next. I just realized this video is over. Thank you for watching. Most people, when they make games on this, are from the lowest age, probably 9, to about, like, 20 that do this. If you're over 20, you're probably gonna be using Unity. And Scratch is for anyone, it's completely free. And if you just wanna make an account, just go to... up here, top right, you can make an account. It's completely free and it's super easy. You do not have to sign up with your email, but if you do sign up with your email, you can post projects. It's just where you can make a bunch of products to make. Not products, what am I thinking? So if you wanna just make some projects and share it to people, let people know that you're a good coder, you can also animate on this. It's not that good for animating, but it still works. So if you're a parent and you wanna introduce your kids into making games, this is one for you. And if you're a kid like me, and you want to make a game, this is also for you. So if you want to use this program, you can use a computer, an iPad, or a Raspberry Pi. I'm Grady, that's G-R-A-D-Y.